how did you get picked up that first time when, when a club like Watford came along and first showed, showed an interest? Um, I think one of the scouts came and spoke to my mum after the, one of my games. And then I went to the trials, I got in there. And then, yeah, it just went from there. And those, those early football memories playing outside, outside the house, or was that with, with friends, with, with your brothers or whatever? Were you always the best player out there in the street? Um, it was with my best friend, uh, Dylan. But um, I don't know, I won't, I won't really say that I was the best one out there. I don't want to be too big headed, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, no, I definitely enjoyed it. There was like, great memories to have as well, so yeah. So what happened to the other guys who were better than you then? Um, they're doing their own thing, you know? They've gone their own, their own separate path. I've gone on mine. No, and I'm thankful for it, so, yeah. How much of an influence did your mum have with, with you pursuing football as a career? Yeah, I mean, definitely a huge one, you know. Um, like, she took me to all my, ma my matches, um, alongside my brother as well. He, he was also at Watford at the time. And, um, yeah, like, she was just um, a big boost for me and my brother. So. At the beginning, she, uh, she wanted me to, like, focus on education. And um, eventually I sat her down and I was like, Mum, I want to play football and um, I want you to like, just believe in me and have faith in me and she did and yeah, I'm in Southampton. <laughs> so it's not the worst, <laughs> it's not the worst situation to be in but yeah, thankful. But it started off with Watford as you mentioned, they were the first ones to come in but then you got released by Watford. Were there ever doubts at the time that yeah, this is, this is my dream but th that they've let me go? Uh, yeah, to be honest because um, after I got released from Watford like, I stopped playing football completely for like a year. And then um, that's when my brother uh, didn't get a contract at Watford as well. So he went to Leighton Orient. And I also w got trials there and then got in there. I, was, I loved it there. And then that's when I got picked up from Southampton. You think Watford are looking now and thinking, oh, we, we missed out there? Uh, I mean, it's a bit too late now, isn't it? <laughs> you know? But um, yeah, no, I'm happy here, so yeah. You're still a, a, a young man, but here you are at Southampton playing in the Premier League, playing in front of, of big, big crowds. How, how have you coped with that? Have you noticed a difference of, about yourself? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously at the beginning, uh, obviously I made my debut and like, I think I've come a long way myself. Um, and yeah, it's credit to the coaches and the staff for like, helping me along the way. Obviously you see the, like, the younger kids, like, obviously I'm young myself, but like, even younger than me, like, you can see that they look up to me and I want to be a role model for them, like, um, show them that hard work and like, focus that you can get to where you want to get to. I spoke to, I think, Nathan Redmond the other day. It was just, when you see one, one that you look up to and, and, and some that sort of helped, helped nurse you through and, and become an established... Yeah, 100%. Um, like, Redders, he helps me like, on the pitch, like, giving me instructions on like, what I should be doing and stuff. And also off the pitch as well, like, with my diet um, and just keeping like, my well-being. So, yeah. And also Bertrand as well. You mentioned there due to well-being. You've had a few injuries as well since you came through. How difficult has that been? You make that breakthrough and all of a sudden you have these setbacks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was definitely difficult at the beginning, you know, uh, with the setbacks because I scored my first goal at Huddersfield and then obviously the next day I got injured, which weren't ideal. Um, and I was obviously on a, on a big high after scoring my first Premier League goal. But, um, yeah, I think um, I've come a long way since then. And... Um, I'm thankful for everything and the staff that helped me get it. What's the manager saying to you in terms of nurturing you, you, you through? I know he was asked about you in a press conference the other day and he said you've had chats about being perhaps a bit more professional. What did he mean by that? Yeah, um, I'd say like just like my diet and stuff. But me and the manager, we have a good like, relationship and like, he, he talks to me often and like, we sit down and have conversations and like, like what I should be doing and like, how I should be like, doing things in my life. And, yeah, it's a, like, it's a big booster, like, sets me challenges. So, yeah, I'm thankful for it. And Southampton does have that reputation for nurturing young players and bringing them through. How much, as a club, mm -hmm. have they done, done for you in terms of not just bringing you on as a player, but, but in general, just a, a, and grow, growing as a man? Yeah, I mean, 100%. Like, we've had like, loads of classes. Like, even when I was in a scholar, um, we had like, uh, education classes, um, like media, media training. Uh, first aid training, like every, everything all comes into one, you know, like help me grow as a person on and off the pitch. You made the choice to play for Ireland. Well, what, what was behind that decision, bearing in mind you've, you've spent most of your time living over here in England? Yeah. Um, I'd say I, I was born in Ireland uh, and um, like I spoke of it with my mum 
and my brother. And um, yeah, we just decided on Ireland and yeah, look forward to playing for them in the future, you know. What sort of time scale have you put on, on that in terms of establishing yourself as a, as a regular Ireland international? Um, well, well, I need to get my games in here first, you know, sh show them why I should be in the team. And then once I establish myself here, then look forward to like, being in the team and like, scoring goals and hopefully, you know, like, going to the Euros like, next year. So, yeah. You set your, you set your sights on that, have you? That would be the... I mean, that is, that's the dream, you know, like playing the Euros, it'll be a big thing, you know, for me and my family. Um, that would be amazing. But, um, yeah, I've got to just work hard and make sure that I can get there.